Okay, guys, so we're going to draw this uh, shaft in Napa Uh So we're going to draw this space claim. Uh, what we're going to do is draw the cross section and do a pool revolve on it. Uh, so the main things we want to look at first is the overall length. The overall length right here is uh, 4 inches, right? And our largest diameter of the cylindrical body is one and a half inch. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this. So we're gonna go to space claim, go to file, new, and we're gonna do new design. Uh, so if you notice, the screen comes up in an isometric view. So what I'm gonna do is on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit control to to uh, switch to a top view, right? So let's start off by drawing a rectangle. So I'm gonna go to my rectangle command. Overall leaf is four inches, so I'm gonna type in four inches for my horizontal, and the largest diameter was one and a half. Now we're just drawing the cross section, so I'm gonna draw the radius of one and a half inch, so which is 0 0.75. So I'm gonna go 0 0.75. Let's hit enter. So I have this rectangle now. Okay, so if we look at the print here, <coughs> we have different steps uh, with different diameters, right? So we have this. Uh, diameter that's one and a quarter and it goes back one inch right so let's start with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to offset curve and I'm gonna draw a parallel line I'm gonna click on this vertical and I'm gonna go back one inch and I'm gonna click on my horizontal uh, center line and I'm gonna go up and remember that diameter I'm drawing is one and a quarter so I'm gonna draw the radius of that so I'm gonna go 1.25 divided by 2 and hit enter so that's something that looks like that so let's go ahead and trim that up so I'm gonna click on trim away and I'm gonna trim this line this line this one and this okay so that's something that looks like this and uh, let's look at the print so we have uh, if we look to the left have a one inch diameter that moves back five eighths, right? So let's go back to offset curve into one inch diameter. So I'm gonna click on this uh, horizontal center line and come up 0.5, which is a radius. And it go it and that step is five eighths back. So I'm gonna grab this vertical line, left click on it drag over and type in 0.625 inch okay so let's go to trim away and I'm gonna trim right here here right here and this line so that's something that looks like this now the next diameter is 1.4 and it goes back so I'm gonna go back to space claim. Let's go. Uh, oops. Let's go back to offset curve. I'm gonna click on this line and I'm gonna move back 0.5 inch. And the diameter is 1.4, right? So I'm gonna grab the center line. I'm gonna go type in 1.4 divided by 2, which gets me this. So let's go ahead and trim this up. So I have this, trim on this line, this line, this line, and this line. So I have something that looks like this. Okay, so the next step is to revolve. We need to revolve to get our main body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pull. I'm going to select this surface plane. I'm going to get to my options here. I'm going to click on revolve. I want to revolve around this center line, so I'm going to click this X center line, and I'm just going to hit enter to do a full revolve in this game. Okay, so I have something that looks like this, right? Now, if we look at, if we look at our print dimensions here, it's calling for a 50,000 inch chamfer. So I'm going to do 
do is I'm going to go back to pool, and I'm going to quick be an edge user, not the surface. We want this edge where it highlights up. So I'm going to hold control down, select multiple edges. Okay, so if I go to my left to my options here, right now I'm currently in radius value. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chamfer, and it's a 50,000 chamfer, so I just type in 0 0.05 and hit enter, and it's going to give me a 50,000 chamfer. So this is what I have so far. So let's go to back to our print, and if you notice, I have a 1 inch flat right here. From flat to flat is 1 inch. It's on the diameter that's uh, 1.4. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to space claim. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to select because I'm going to draw on this surface right here. And I'm going to change my view. I'm going to go to my bottom left. I'm going to click on this red dot and zoom in with that view. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to To, I want to make sure it's at one inch to one inch flat. So I want to make sure it's, I'm referenced off the side. So I, so I stay symmetrical. So I'm going to go to Cartesian Dimensions. I'm going to click it on my center here. And I'm going to move up. Now, notice uh, my vertical value is a negative value, right? So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come away from the part. And I'm going to go negative point. The horizontal value is not really that important as long as that come off the part. So I'm going to do is I'm going to drag across and I'm going to come up. Now this vertical value is not too important. The main thing is that I have a closed profile and the distance from this vertical to the center is a half inch. And that the this point and this point come off the part. Okay. If not, it's gonna leave a uh, it's gonna leave a step when it does a cut. What we're gonna do is we're we're basically drawing a closed profile as a tool when you do a cut, okay? And the most important thing is after you, you draw your closed profiles and cut it, uh, that you have a one inch flat from flat to flat is one inch, okay? And that is symmetrical, meaning that uh, this flat is a half inch from the center. So anyways, so I'm going to go back to line, I'm going to go back to Cartesian center here, and I'm going to reference off the center, come down, and that vertical value, I'm going to make it half inch. The uh, horizontal value, I'm not too worried about. So let's do this, let's drag across, it doesn't really matter how far as long as it goes all the way across, I'm kind of exaggerating here. So I'm going to hit escape to escape out of line mode. Now I have something that looks like this. It doesn't look like much, but we're just using this as a tool to cut, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pool. And I'm going to hold control down. And I'm going to select each one of these, okay? Basically, I want something that looks like this. Let's Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to pull and cut. And we want to cut, if we remember the print, this flat to flat, it goes back a half inch, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this way and just type in 0 0.5. So let me get, so I have something something that looks like this. This is what I want right here. So we're almost done. So if you, you were to measure from flat to flat on the bottom, okay, it'd be one inch. Okay. Now let's look at the print again. Uh, so we have everything except for this keyframe. So this is 
a 3H keyway that's 1.875 inch deep from from this uh, radio circuit here, and it moves back uh, 0.95. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this up. And the way I'm going to draw this up is uh, we'll go ahead and put it in lines and shape like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to my mode I'm gonna go to sketch mode and you notice a plane pops up uh, I gotta pick the right plane notice I can toggle the different planes I can I can reference off this flat which is on the left plane uh, I'm gonna go right here to my X plane right here okay this is just one way to do it there's, there's more ways to do this but we're gonna do it this way for now so it has to look like that go down to my coordinate cube down here and I'm going to click on that little dot and zoom in. So it has something that looks like this, right? Okay, so we're going to draw a keyway. Uh, the keyway is three apes, uh, three apes wide and it stretches across uh, 0.95 inch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw So, so the uh, slot keyway, keyway slot uh, goes back 0.95 inch, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back minus 0.95 and come down. Okay, I'm just using this as a tool to uh, place my radius in the next one. I'm gonna hit escape. Okay, so if we look at the print, it's 0.95, right? Now, what I want to do is I want to lock in from the center of this arc. Uh, it's three eighths, so it's a three eighths radius right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my offset curve and type in 0.375 divided by two, which gives me that. Okay, so it's a three eighths radius. So I'm sorry, it's not three eighths radius. It's, it's a uh, three eighths circle. So I'm going to go to my circle command, I'm going to come in, I'm going to snap in right here, and type in 0.375. So I have something looks like this. Let's go ahead and hit escape to exit the circle command. <coughs> Let's go to line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, this intersecting line, I'm going to come across, and I'm exaggerating a little bit. Instead of coming just to the edge, I'm going to go past it a little bit. Uh, there's a reason why. And uh, <coughs> I want to come down. Uh, let's do this. Let's hover the cursor to this intersection. And just drag it across. I don't click. But what we want to do is we want to lock in. That's not what we want. Let's see. Okay, well, it's 3x wide, so let's just type in. snap in right here I'm going to hit escape to exit that function and let's go ahead and go to trim away and let's trim away what we don't want we don't want any of this stuff here those previous lines were more uh, more as a tool to help us position our circle in this spot alright so I have something that looks like this right So, the way we're going to do this is uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to pull. And the reason why I overhung that, uh, that rectangle in my slot is so I can just click on the edge right here. Uh, I'm going to put it in cut. And let's go ahead and just cut up a little bit. So, I have something that looks like this. Okay? It's not really what I want. If you look at the print here. It's a 3 inch keyway that's 0.1875 deep from this radial surface, right? Now, that, the diameter of 
this uh, radial surface is one meter. Okay, so let's think about this. The diameter is one and a quarter. The radius is half that, which is uh, 0.625. Okay, we want it to be 0.875 meter. All right, so what we can do is we can we can actually pull this surface up, but we need to know how we need to know how far to pull. I just click on the surface and pull it up. So what I want to do is I want to pull it up. Remember that diameter is all the way to the top is uh, basically five eighths, and we want it to be 0.1875 meters, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to type in 0.625 minus 0.1875. Good. 